Hi again, and uh, now I'm actually going to run through a quick demonstration of uh, a new feature that's been added into Logger 6 called the uh, uh, List Lookup capability. So uh, it's just the uh, ability to upload some data, it's typically a CSV file, and then refer and search against that data to, to do some more advanced use cases. So what do we got? Well, uh, let's just jump to the configuration and I'll show you some lookup files. Uh, like I say, these are just CSV files. I've got a whole bunch here that's been, been added. Uh, if I just look at the TCP ports for a second, that is just a mapping of the port number with the name. Uh, it's not just 10 events here, uh, 10 uh, rows here. It's actually a, uh, significantly more than that. It's just showing the top 10 with regards to that. And it's just a CSV that I've added in, uh, into that information. The important data here is to, to note the name of the uh, file I'm looking up uh, and the name of the fields that I'm looking up as well. So they're called port and they're called name. Okay, so we'll just click done on that one. So the question now is, how do I use this? What do I do with this data? So I'm just doing a search go over the last 24 hours. Let's just do a search on everything at that, that point. Uh, this is a demonstration system, but I've, I've not got a huge number of events in here. But suddenly, if I look at the list here, I've got a whole amount of, uh, of arc site events here. Uh, I'm just going to give a quick example of uh, how we can just do a very simple search to get through the data on this one. So these are just internal audit events. Uh, it's very easy for me just to, to, to click on that and it just picks out uh, that uh, as a search criteria. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I don't want those events. So what I want to do is uh, not equal to arc site. So that's going to give me everything but uh, arc site events. So there we go. We got a whole load of other events there of information uh, of, of everything else we collected in our demo system here. Okay, uh, what we do also have here is some auto selected fields that it's picked out here as well. So we can look at this device vendor. If I just click, it gives me a breakdown of the device vendors as well. So actually, I can see that there's some checkpoint events here, and this is what I'm interested in. So again, I can just click the checkpoint there and it automatically appends that to the search and it's just going to give me checkpoint events. Okay, that's just checkpoint events. So that's useful. So okay, we're get, getting somewhere. Um, actually, I want to drill down a bit further and, and actually I'm only interested in uh, TCP events. So I'm going to put in another one here and, and notice how it's actually uh, search history and, and giving you operators as I'm doing this as well. And transport protocol equals TCP search and there we go we just get the TCP events so that's useful but what I don't necessarily do is is, is understand what's going on so let's put that into a little chart uh, let's put that into a top so it's a top 10 uh, uh, let, I want to know what's going through my firewall in this case. So I want to know the destination ports. Where, where are we? What services are we using going through our firewall? So destination port. If I do a search on that. And hey presto, we get some data. Oh, but it's still not that great at this point. So we know that there's some services are going through that are not recording the port number. And we just got a, a string of port numbers. Now obvious ones is fairly straightforward, but some of the other ones are not making a huge amount of sense. That's where the list lookup comes in, because we now actually have the capability of, of looking up and referring to that list that we had uh, and seeing what's going on. So I could actually just do uh, a lookup. Now remember the name of the f of the, uh, the, the the file that we're going to look up in, which is TCP ports. Uh, the field itself was the port number, to port. Uh, the field that we want to map it to is as destination port, and uh, that's useful. So we now got that, and we want to output uh, the name. So that's the so I'm I'm mapping my destination port with the port that's in the file and I want to put an additional field in the search response uh, that gives me the name as in the text information that applies with that. So if I just do the search on that, uh, notice I get a little warning message here saying five rows are skipped uh, because I've got some repeating data in the file. So that's okay, I'm not going to worry about that here. So now we can see that there's a destination port 21. Uh, we can see that there's some information that actually pulls it out of that file and it says, oh, hang on a minute, that's the file transfer 
control port uh, that's being used and there's a whole lot of other bits in there so now suddenly we've got a, a descriptive bit of information that we're mapping that data so of course now if I was to put that into my uh, into my uh, little chart so I do a top uh, and a clever thing here is I could just do destination port uh, destiny destination port if I wanted to uh, and it would just give me the port numbers but actually I want the names so what I could do here is actually get a little bit more sophisticated so uh, there's actually an operator here so we can do the name of the field that we pulled out so remember we pulled out the name here from the from the actual file so we can do name but we need to tell us where we got it from so in that case it's come from TCP uh, from the actual file itself and what it does is it just gives the first six characters uh, of the actual name so it's slightly appended uh, but what we do is we just we can see that now and I can put that into my into my chart and hey presto now I have something more useful so I can see there's some some data here and it's telling me what's going on uh, so okay now that's that's quite useful of course I could very quickly change and alter that but what I want to start being a bit more clever about is is mapping that with understanding of what's going on uh, and maybe putting that in the dashboard now, dashboards I'll cover in a separate demonstration I just wanted to give an example of how you can use a very simple list lookup uh, to uh, populate additional data into a search into a chart to view what's going on and of course each one of these I can click and drill down and do further searching on as well so nice and simple very straightforward uh, thank you very much for your time